They say you can't love someone else until you have loved yourself. Something that I took into the wrong context because I blurred the line between self-love and what you made me think self-love was. Our, Our definitions, definitions collided. And sad for me, I was the collateral because that's what this relationship is. Double, Double standards. So why give in and fall into the cycle when I don't have to? Develop cycles through the harmonies of the songs with all the expectations and unwritten rules we follow. Unknowingly, Unknowingly normalizing unrealistic standards, standards we should meet. Never really taking into account that these standards were branded to the flesh of our childhood selves. To our to half developed, developed brain. When this is all we've ever seen, difference can't come without a change. But, but your perception of love will never change in a world full of hate. Hate that was taught. Because no child is welcomed into this world hating. Hating the body they are yet to learn from. Hating the body that has yet to teach them. Teach them the very hate we breathe in, breathe in. Breathe in. Then tell me to glorify my flaws, to have confidence when my chest runs smooth to my rib cage, glorify the lines that paint the tiger on my stomach I so shamelessly hide. And it rolls like I haven't fed her in decades. And, and I, I haven't. haven't. I fear that in feeding the monster will continue to mark the days on my hips. Numbered like the flaws you labeled on my body. A body that wasn't yours to vandalize. But, but you did anyway. Me. Trust me when I say I tried to feed her. But I always end up with fingers down the throat of the tiger trying to rip the stripes off of her belly for you. I'm, I'm a people pleaser, but I never please myself. So, so don't tell me to love myself when no one ever told me I was fine the way I was. How, How could I expect anyone to tell me that when all we do is get off on each other's misery? You got off on my misery. So self-love became non-existent to me. So don't blame me when I say you, you can't, can't love someone else until you have loved yourself. But how can I show love to something that no one has loved before? When you belittle me for the things you hate about yourself. Project your insecurities on me because that's all you told me I'm good for. Loving myself first was never an option. And maybe it will never be an option because it will always be an eye for an eye. Self-love will never be unconditional. And I have you to blame for that. You set standards for everyone to partake in, including me. But I'm not your expectation and I'm not your exception. It's not my job to blend in the notes seamlessly just to please you. So this is non-existent. Self-love is non-existent. Just a definition that has been collided with the truth. They say you, you can't, can't love someone else until you have loved yourself. And after three minutes, I still don't know what to say to that. But what I'm wondering is whether I can give love. And maybe somehow, some way, I will become worthy of my own love. We say no one really model to us what self-love really is. But we'll keep trying until it isn't a definition that looks like a collision. Until, until we're, we're no longer fighting for our own worthiness. <laughs>